Hello and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dump Run Again, the short film that I've been working on for a very long time, and we're going to make a bit more progress on it. Now, what I've got here is a bit of a highlight. So I've cut together some really good tips taken from that tutorial, um, or taken from the full live stream, and these tips are going to talk about how to light your scenes. So how am I thinking about lighting and how am I approaching lighting the second scene in the film? If you want to find out more about Dump Run, I've got a full playlist you can find out in the description of this video with hours of videos. I've literally like recorded every step that I've done on this entire short film. Likewise, you can head over to the Blender Market and you can get the entire Dump Run product. And that has all the assets that I'm using to make this, this film. So if you wanna buy all the assets and use them yourself to make stuff, go for it. That's where you can get a hold of that. So please check it out. And if you wanna watch the full uncut version of this episode where I go through everything and work through it, head over to Patreon and join there, or you can join on YouTube. The process, okay, is to look through your shots, um, one by one, and think about clarity. Think about how clear the main is the main subject, and uh, and the action. And then you want to bring in just enough light to really help that, you know, be visible in a scene like this, especially where it's so dark. And the things that are going to help with that are going to be rim lights. Like we've got a bit of rim on him here, which looks good. Um, but I can see that some of these shots, uh, there's not much separation between him in the background. So you can see there, it's quite dark. So in this case, I wanna make sure I bring on the right robot arm. Um, what I like to do is first I'll like shift clicked and I'll go, so shift, so shift right click to put the 3D cursor, like projecting it onto something. And then I'll grab an area light and just bring it over here. And I'm gonna turn on the power, brighten it up a bit. Get it off screen maybe. Um, it'd be cool if this was like the red, you know, of the... I might turn the volume off because that's going to help me get closer with it. Um, so I'll turn that volume off and then I might shift you to duplicate and bring another one down. Um, actually, I'll turn the volume for that one up just so I can see where it is. Um, I'm gonna move it back, set global. And I think X is what's gonna move it back. There we go. So yeah, you can see I'm getting that light on him. Turn that volume down. I'm gonna try rotating just to see what kind of results. It's nice getting it a little bit on the, the conveyor belt there. I also wanna have a look at that robot. The first pickup here, see he's so dim. Right, so we really need something else. I'm gonna shift click here uh, to put my cursor. I'll just jump over here so you can actually see me do it. So shift clicking, you see how it projects the 3D cursor onto things. And I can go for a shift A light and I'll go for another uh, area light and I'll point it at the robot. And this one I'm gonna do a contrasting blue and I'm gonna turn it right up. I'll try a thousand and turn the volume off. Double that to 2000. Okay, let's see how that feels. Yeah, that's good. See, now we're getting all the detail of the robot. I'm still not sure that I'm getting enough from these guys though. Where's, those, where's the new light we just added? Oh, here it is, all right. That's probably why this needs to come around a little bit better. I might take this up to 2000 as well. And I'm gonna try and reposition it. I wonder if we should underlight like that. That could be that could be good. Yeah, it's right, because this is a really important moment where it looms out over him. That looks pretty good. It'd be nice to really separate the background a bit for that moment. Like when he launches, let's try that. I'm gonna put my cursor there, shift A, grab a point light, and I'm gonna just put it behind them, like over here, right? And then with this point light, I'm gonna turn it up like 5,000 or something, crazy. So we can have a lot of volumetrics there. Um, 
give it a contrasting, probably the blue color. And I might want to just use it for the framing. You know, we might be able to get, let's so bring it down a little bit. It'll back like that. There's a really bright spot in the frame, so it is a little bit distracting. Like the eye will go there, so I do probably want to keyframe this. And then on the launch, we're going to see it. So let's try putting some keyframes on it. Let's go to this camera cut and I'll set a key for the position and the well, rotation doesn't matter. Um, but I will bring it down a little bit. In fact, we could just pop it around here, I wonder. Like set the key there. And I'll set a key for the power. And we'll just turn it off. So I'll go back one frame and just nuke it. So now it's off, now it's on. Six, seven, that's pretty good. Just gonna make sure it doesn't peak up. So I'll set a keyframe, come forward, and I'll just move it. Let's just put it in the perfect spot. Like right, up he goes. Doosh. Yeah, I like the the contrast of like being flung out. I almost feel like we need to have a little bit more blue here. And now let's go touch bluer. I mean, it will really affect the scene, won't it? But I feel like that's nice. Well, thanks for watching. That's it. And I really hope you enjoyed it and learned a few cool things and cool tips. Again, if you want to watch the full uncut version, go check out Patreon or join here on YouTube and get access to that. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in the next tutorial. Until then, have a fantastic week. See ya.